hello students in this video i will explain the values of trigonometric function in various quadrants and uh, if the point p on the unit circle is in the first quadrant what happens the values of trigonometric function sin function let us analyze and you already know the values of trigonometric functions of standard angles and let us analyze that and the similarly it will continue for the other quadrants now if angle is zero radian the point is at this position and uh, sin x is equal to y coordinate of the point and here y coordinate of the point is zero therefore sin 0 is equal to 0 next you just to take the next standard value that is 30 degree and you know the value of sin 30 that is equal to 1 by 2 that is y coordinate of this point the red, red strip shows the height here the coordinate of this point you observe it is positive in first quadrant both x and y coordinate are positive therefore sin is positive if the point is in the first quadrant that is the angle lies between 0 to pi by 2 and see the next value and sin 45 degree that is equal to 1 by root 2 and uh, it is again a positive value next one is sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 that is again a positive quantity because the point is in first quadrant both x and y coordinate are positive and sin 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 next sin 90 is equal to 1 this is the value of sin 90 and uh, the coordinate of this point is 0 comma 1 and uh, y coordinate of this point is 1 therefore sin 90 is equal to 1 further if you increase and uh, if the angle is 120 degree or 2 pi by 3 when the angle is 2 pi by 3 here also y coordinate is positive because in the second quadrant x is negative and y is positive x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive therefore here again the sine function will take the positive value only next sine 3 pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 and which is also positive sine 5 pi by 6 is 1 by 2 which is also positive and sine pi is equal to 0 because the x coordinate of this point is 0 if you increase the angle further and you will get sin 7 pi by 6 and sin 7 pi by 6 you can observe this point is in the third quadrant in third quadrant both x coordinate and y coordinate are negative therefore here the length is positive but the coordinate of this point is length is positive but the coordinate of the point is negative therefore sine of 7 pi by 6 is equal to minus 1 by 2 you observe the sign of the sine function here it is it takes the negative value in third quadrant sine takes negative value because wherever the point on the circle in the third quadrant definitely y coordinate of that point is negative therefore sine 7 pi by 6 is negative sine 5 pi by 4 is negative that is minus 1 by root 2 and sin 4 pi by 3 is also negative and sin 3 pi by 2 is also negative that is equal to minus 1 you know the coordinate of this point 0 comma minus 1 and uh, this is equal to minus 1 further you increase here and again in fourth quadrant also y coordinate is negative if the point is in fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative therefore here it takes the negative value itself like this sin 7 pi by 4 is also negative and sin 11 pi by 6 is also negative minus 1 by 2 and uh, this is the values of sine function finally you will have the observed this uh, sine is positive in first and second quadrant whereas it is negative in third and fourth quadrant now see the 
values of cos function and let us start with the zero radian and if the angle is zero the point is at this position and coordinate of this point is 1 comma 0 therefore cos 0 is equal to x coordinate of the point and x coordinate of this point is equal to 1 for cos 0 is equal to 1 if you increase you can observe cos pi by 6 is equal to root 3 by 2 and here pi by 6 and this is the value that is x coordinate of the point and it is positive side and uh, moreover the point is in the point is in the first quadrant in first quadrant x coordinate and y coordinate both are positive here cos is positive and if you increase cos pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 cos pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 which is positive and cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 here x coordinate of this point is equal to 0 if you further increase and x coordinate is negative and therefore cos 2 pi by 3 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and still you can increase you can observe cos of 3 pi by 4 is equal to minus 1 by root 2 it is negative and this point is in the second quadrant and x coordinate is negative and further increase cos of 5 5 by 6 is minus root 3 by 2 and cos of pi is equal to minus 1 and uh, cos of 7 pi by 6 is equal to minus root 3 by 2 which is again negative and uh, cos of pi pi by 4 is also minus 1 by root 2 which is negative in third quadrant x coordinate is negative therefore cos takes the negative values in the third quadrant also and uh, cos of 4 pi by 3 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and cos of 3 pi by 2 is equal to 0 we already observed the values at this position the values of cos x and sin x at the, these points and cos of 5 pi by 3 is 1 by 2 cos of 7 pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 here the point is in the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative and here the cos x represents the x coordinate of this point and cos x is equal to a which where a is the x coordinate of the point and here cos 7 pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 and cos 11 pi by 6 is equal to root 3 by 2 and this is the values of trigonometric function finally you will have cos x is positive in first quadrant negative in second quadrant negative in third quadrant and positive is in fourth quadrant and you have to remember these results now let us consider the tan function and tan 0 is equal to 0 the point is here tan is sin by cos you know the value of tan x the definition is tan x is equal to sin x by cos x and as sin 0 is 0 tan 0 is also 0 and tan pi by 6 is equal to 1 by root 3 actually this length gives the length of tangent it is called and this itself represents the tan value of tan x and here if you draw tangent to the circle at the point it will meet the x axis at a particular point and the length is called as tangent here and here value of tangent may be positive or negative and the value you can analyze here in first quadrant sin is positive and cos is also positive tan is sin by cos positive divided by positive is positive therefore in first quadrant tan is positive and uh, this is the value tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 tan pi by 3 is equal to root 3 and tan pi by 2 is not defined if you draw the tangent it will never cross the intersect with the x axis if you draw tangent to the circle at this point and it will not cut the x axis therefore tan 90 here it is not defined and if you further increase and you can observe and here it is negative side and therefore the and moreover tan x is equal to sin x by cos x here sin x is positive cos x is negative in second quadrant therefore tan x is negative positive divided by negative quantity is negative and tan x is negative tan 2 pi by 3 is minus root 3 and uh, 
tan 3 pi by 4 is minus 1 tan 5 pi by 6 is minus 1 by root 3 and again tan pi is equal to 0 and if you further increase you observe here both sin and cos are negative and as sin and cos are negative tan is minus divided by minus is positive tan x is positive and remember the sign here tan x is positive in third quadrant further increase it is tan pi by 4 is equal to pi pi by 3 equal to 1 tan 4 pi by 3 is equal to minus root 3 tan 3 pi by 2 is not defined further and the tan 5 pi by 3 is equal to minus root 3 here sin is negative and cos is positive therefore sin x by cos x is negative and tan is negative in the fourth quadrant and further you can increase and it will be like this and tan 11 pi by 6 equal to minus 1 by root 3 and similarly you can analyze the signs of the other functions cosec x sec x and cot x and uh, cosec x is takes the same sign as sin takes because it is reciprocal of sin cos x will be same as the signs of the cos x and therefore sec x and cosec x are reciprocal of each other sec x takes the same value same sign whatever the cos x takes and cot x also the sign of cot x will be same as the sign of tan x because cot x is reciprocal of sin therefore if you remember the signs of the trigonometry function sin x cos x and tan x in various quadrant you can memorize the signs of this also